Hello everyone, welcome to our second last day. I can't believe it. I've just really, really enjoyed this challenge so much. I've just noticed a huge difference in my arch, in the strength of my calves, the strength of my glutes, my posture a lot. So it's really benefited me. I hope it has for you too. So today I've kind of put together some of my favorite exercises um, from throughout this challenge. I hope you like this video. This will be probably a nice video for you guys to do maybe once a week or something to go back and kind of remind yourself of some of the exercises that we've done in this challenge and also just to make sure that you keep up with it from this challenge forward. If I, if what I'm gonna try and do is just go back to day one and start it all over again. Um, and just do like, every time I get through the 30 days, go back to day one, because I think it's really helped my dancing. So, without saying too much more, um, grab a towel and grab a band. And other than that, you won't need anything else. Let's get started. Okay, great, so let's get warmed up. First of all, we're just gonna kind of bounce back and forth on our toes. Good. How is everyone feeling today? You can answer me out loud. <laughs> I ask this question nearly every video and I always imagine you guys kind of just talking to the laptop. I hope you're doing well. Good, five more. Good, now hop on the right foot. Just on one spot. Good, left foot on the spot. Right foot, back and forth, or sideways, right? Left to right. Left foot, left to right. Both feet jump back and forth, left and right, front and back, left and right. Good, everybody. Now we're going to turn around, hopping on the right foot. Opposite way, turn the opposite way. Now left foot, turn. Now opposite direction with the turn. Good, so that was just a nice kind of warm up for your calves, ankles, get your heart rate up. Good, okay, let's do some dynamic stretching. So we're gonna start with our hamstrings, down and up, good. Good, five more. because like I said throughout this challenge, they are always my favorite warm up for the show. So I thought I'd better put them into one of the last videos to make sure we're getting used out of them. So just five nice and strong burpees. Ready and go. Down, out, in, up, down. Good. Last one, big jump. Good. Okay. Hopping back and forth, this one. Good, we're gonna do 10 of those. We're gonna try to go really, really high and to land really, really still. Ready and go. One. Use your core that you've built. That nice strong core. Good, okay, now we're gonna do 10 a little bit faster. So 10, nine, eight. Seven. So it doesn't have the same kind of feeling. It's more if I turn to the back. You're almost like this. Okay? Ready? And go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, another one of my favorite kind of full body stretches, warm-ups. Take a deep breath in, bear crawls, and you're gonna walk it out. So you come down, walk it out. Good. Walk it back in. Good. Walking out to your nice strong plank that you built that nice strong core for. 
Good, last one. And hold it like that for me. Good, so now see if you can turn your right onto your left hand. Lift your right arm up. Good, turn back to the center. And see if you can turn your right to the left on your right hand. Lift the left hand up. Good, back around to the center. Walk it back in. Good, okay, let's do 10 calf raises with parallel feet. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good, guys. Okay, let's get down onto our mat. We're actually going to start with core today to get it over and done with. Core is usually my least favorite. So line it all the way down. We're going to start with roll ups. So we're going to do five roll ups. So if you remember what a roll up is, you take a deep breath in, exhale, you come up and over nice and slow, using your abs to get a nice stretch too, and then rolling back nice and slow to get those abs worked out, okay? So we're gonna go for five of those, ready, and go. Up, drop, right leg. 
up, because that way you're gonna get a little bit of a hamstring stretch into it, okay? So we're only going for 10, guys, you can do it, okay? Lift the head up, legs up and go. One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Well done. Okay, let's go and turn over onto all fours. We are going to do some cat cows. So this is just kind of going to stretch as I start to work into our back for our posture. So we're going to drop our belly button to the floor, lift our head. Take a deep breath in when you do that, and then you exhale as you reverse. Good, inhale to come up. Exhale, drop the chin to your chest. Good, two more for me. Good, last one. And exhale. Good, okay. Tuck our toes into the mat. We're gonna do our first downward facing dog of today. Ready and go. Up. Nice. This has definitely been my favorite move of the challenge. Good, let's see five little pedals. Five, four, three, two, one. One more to even out both sides. One. Good, and relax. Just hold that downward dog now for a second. See how it feels. Take a deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Good, okay, coming down again onto all fours. We're going to do this one for coordination, but also for our posture and our back. So we've done this a few times. You lift the right foot, or right hand, left foot. Good, and then you swap over left hand, right foot. Good, we're gonna do 10 of those, and then we're gonna do something a little different, okay? Ready, and go. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. Good. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Hold it out there. Now I want you to bring your left arm over to the left, your right foot over to the right, so you're opening them up. Good, bring it back in. Now let's do five little taps of the foot. Five, four, three, you're working your glutes now. Two, one, good, and relax. Always working those glutes, get higher jumps, more explosive, powerful jumps. Oh, all right, reach out the right hand, left leg. Right hand goes out to the right, left leg goes out to the left, we're really switching on that glute. Good, back into center, and five taps of the foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's go into a nice child's pose. Bring your toes together, knees out nice and wide, and relax into a nice stretch. Everyone's favorite stretch. <laughs> Good, open up those hips for a nice turnout. You can kind of massage your head. Back and forth to the mat, I really like to do that. Give myself a little head massage. Good, okay, coming now onto our side. So we're going to do my favorite exercises for turnout and glutes. Um, strong glutes mean good high jumps, um, but also strengthening the outsides of our legs means good turnout. So we've done these a few times. If you wanna come down onto your side, I'm gonna give you the option, you can pick feet up off the ground or you can keep your feet on the ground, okay? I'm gonna pick my feet up, so if, or if you're doing it on the ground, you're just opening and closing like this. If you pick them up, you're staying up and you open and close, okay? So let's go for about 15. Ready and go, one, two, three, four,
Good, I forgot to count. Let's go for five more. Four. Three. Two. That's one. One. Good, and relax. Okay, we're flying through this workout, guys. You're nearly there. We have feet and posture to work on. Good, again, you have an option. You can have your feet on the ground or feet up. I'm gonna go for feet up. And we're starting with 15 of these clams. Ready, and go. One, two. If your feet are up, you're just working a little bit harder than your glutes. Good, and relax. Good, legs out straight. And we do the up, up, and down one. So the in, up, and down. Ready for 10? Let's go. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good and relax. Okay, great. Now, just before I forget, we have to incorporate some calf raises. So we've already done ten of straight feet. Now I just want you to do ten on right, ten on left of the single raises. So hold on to something if you need to for balance. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. Don't forget to do your calf raises after this challenge. Make sure you're keeping them up. They're so important. Remember I told you that and dancers should be doing about 50 of them a day. Last two, good, and the left foot. Keep up your calf raises, guys, okay? Ready, and go. Remember also the bent ones, the bent knee ones, they're really important. Good, two more. Good, and relax. Okay, if you wanna grab for your towel now or your band, so the first one we're going to do is the one that I always joke about where your hands are out and you're just like, I don't know. So you bring the shoulders right up to the ears, the arms up and then you shrink them down, okay? So let's go for eight like that. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now we're gonna do Eight, up and down like that. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, take your towel or your band to the back. And we're just gonna raise them up and down at the back. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you're holding the band, this can be a really good option. You need to kind of just do um, little pulses with the band where you're kind of pulling it out to the side. So we're gonna do eight like that. You can do it with a trial too. Ready and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, okay. Um, we are going to do just a few circles, so just to work into those shoulders. My shoulders are crunching. <laughs> Good, opposite way. Good, and relax. Okay, now I want you to grab for your towel. We're gonna to do some toe scrunches. These are definitely one of my favorite exercises we've done throughout this challenge. So we're going to do 10 on right, 10 on left. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. We done these yesterday as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Good. Ten on the left. Ready and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, good, okay. Okay, 
Okay, so we've definitely done one some similar to this, but I don't know if we've done this one in the challenge, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down, kick, squat down, kick. This is gonna help with our strength and our glutes to get higher jumps, but also higher kicks, okay? So we're just gonna do 10, ready, and go. One, sh two, sh three, four, five, six, good, seven, really kick, eight, nice and strong, two more, nine, really kick high, last one, 10, well done. Okay, okay everyone, very last exercise today, I want you to grab your band or your towel, we're just gonna work into our arches and our toes, so I want you to actually put both feet into the band, and then push it out in front, and then you're gonna try and use both feet at the one time to push against the band. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the one where we do arch, point, flex toes, arch back. But it's a little bit more difficult when you try to do both at the same time, okay? So we have, first of all, we're flex, then we're arch, then we point our toes, then we flex our toes, then we arch back, okay? Ready for 10? Let's go. So arch, point, toes, flex, toes, flex, back. Arch, point, toes, flex, toes, flex, back. Good. Keep going, you're nearly finished this workout. And you'd be able to say that you worked out everything today. <laughs> Good, two more. Really push through the toes. Last one, push, 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 and release. Okay, you are finished. Well done, everyone. Congratulations on making it through 29 days of this challenge. Tomorrow is our last day and it's a really nice, gentle kind of stretch, breathing workout to finish out this challenge. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button and comment below how you're feeling about tomorrow being our last day. As always, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, before I go, remember I will have information for you all tomorrow on how you get your certificate and also how you sign up for our Zoom, which we'll be having a few days after the challenge ends. So thank you so, so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.